just some terminology uh, that you want to know. Number one, looping. We've talked about this. We talked about this with Grandmaster Flash, Theodore, you know, taking a five second drum break and turning it into a five minute loop using two copies of the, of the same thing. So looping, when we're talking about sampling, is basically repeating a sample in a, in a regular pattern. It could be a drum loop, so you, you loop literally a drum break, um, you know, in your sampler, or you loop a bass line, or you find a unique melody and you just loop that melody or part of that melody over and over again. So it could be a rhythmic element or it could be a melodic element, or you take both of those things. So you hook up a drum loop, <clears throat> and you loop a drum break, and then you loop a, a melody and you layer them over one another, adjust their speed in some way, manipulate them a little bit, okay? That's, that's how a lot of early hip hop in, was made um, in the late 90s was you, you, know, you, you get two or three loops, um, a bass loop, a drum loop, and um, a, me a melody loop, and you would find a way to, in a, close to key, and close to what sounds like it's in key, layer them on top of one another. Uh, chopping is basically taking a, a, a rhythmic sample, so a drum break or drums, um, or a melody or a bass line or anything and breaking that into different pieces, smaller pieces. So, um, you know, with, a, with a, 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 drum, a drum break, you could just take, you know, a kick sound or if there's two different sounding kicks, take two different kicks, take a snare or two snares. You could take a hat, you could take an o open hat. Um, you know, there's usually you're gonna, you're gonna find there's two distinct um, hi-hat sounds. Um, you know, uh, uh, on a drum break, you know, take both those, whatever. Um, or you take a melody and you break that melody, you know, it could be an eight note melody and you break that melody in, into eight different samples um, that allow you to replay it or a bass line that has four different notes and you break it down um, into individual, individual notes that become their own discrete samples. This allows you to manipulate those sounds um, individually and also allows you to rearrange them into a different a different order um, you know or length and order etc the term flipping is basically like you've probably heard me say this um, is like how you manipulate and change a sample you flip it you know um, like just looping something st straight up you know wouldn't be called like a flip or considered a flip but how you take a small loop or you take a small sample like a three second sample and you manipulate the shit out of it you chop it up you rearrange it in your own production you know um and you and you really just change how it sounds that's flipping you know um you know any way that you do you, you creatively alter a sample into a, a new way um you can chop samples and arrange them in a loop i mean that's that's the thing right like i take a I could find a dope little melodic sample, a little four bar or two bar melody sample, um, and I could hook that up as a loop and then program, play my own drums to that. Or I could take that, that melody loop, you know, two bar loop, and I could break it into, you know, six notes, um, and I could replay those six notes into a new, you know, two or four bar loop and then program my drums to play my drums over that or whatever. Um, just so you know, uh, almost 99.99999% of, of hip hop songs are 4-4 uh, four, four time signature. So basically all that means is there's, there's four beats per bar. So one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. So each one of those one, two, three, four, that's a bar. Two, two, three, four. That's a bar. Three, two, three, four. That's a bar. You know, um, you could have uh, eighth notes or sixteenth notes, and I'll talk about that um, uh, when we get down when we get down the line. But basically, you know, um, a, a four, four time signature is going to be one, two, three, four, and then like a, a eighth note would be 
one and two and three and four and two and you know or, or you know etc uh and then 16th notes with one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a blah 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 you know continue on but four four time signature is what you're mostly going to have one two three four two two three you know basically four beats per bar okay um and you know most loops when you when i hook up a loop in my sampler um it's going to be two or four bars, you know, and when I make a song, you know, most producers make a song, you know, um, it will be comprised of multiple two and four bar loops using a lot of the same um, sample material. So you you could have like, you know, a two bar loop that you loop uh, for a total of 16 bars for a verse and then you have an eight bar chorus and you have a different two bar loop that plays you know four times over uh for that you know eight bar uh a chorus or whatever you know so you, so that that tends tends to be the the deal but um you know most of the time when when i hook up a loop in a sampler it's going to be two bars so it's going to be one two three four two two three four one two three four two two three four so it goes back to the beginning or it's four bars, so it'll be one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You know, and that's the beginning of the loop. Um, so that's it. That's kind of like a little bit. And we'll learn more about sampling uh, technology, technique, um, and talking about beats and stuff. Um, as we move down the line, I'll do some demos and stuff uh, with some of my tools just to give you, again, a little more sense. This is really intended for... You know, maybe someone who has a little bit of knowledge of, of music or beats um, or people who have no clue at all. You know, I mean, really, I have, I have you know, uh, here I am teaching a class in a music school. You know, I can't fucking read music. You know what I'm saying? I don't know a ton about music uh, theory and, um, you know, composition and shit. Like, I don't know what the fuck a, a pentatonic scale is or chromatic scale I actually do <laughs> but I mean like I didn't go to music like I didn't get no music lessons you know uh, in fact you know I sucked incredible incredibly at everything I tried to play I just never had the patience for it you know but when I got my hands on some records when I got my hands on a sampler like that was that was it for me because I always wanted to be musical I just didn't have the the patience or or the stamina or I just didn't think in that way about reading music, you know. Um, it really, I really struggled with it. Maybe in the dyslexia or, or, or whatever, but it is what it is, you know.